A hydropower plant uses kinetic energy to create its power. It also uses gravity to bring water from a reservoir through the penstock, which has a turbine at the end. The power of the water turns the turbine and causes the generator to produce power. From there, power lines take the electricity to homes. There are three primary operational modes that the dams use. The first is the run of river mode, which uses natural flow of river to spin the turbine. Second is the peaking mode, which captures and releases water when it's needed. And third is the storage mode, where water is captured and stored in the reservoir during high flow periods to keep water for when there are low flow times. Now on the topic of cost, hydropower produces an average of 85 cents per kilowatt hour, which is approximately 50% the cost of nuclear, 40% the cost of fossil fuel, and 25% the cost of natural gas. Hydropower is the most efficient way to produce electricity, and the turbines convert 90% of the energy into electricity. In addition, there are other benefits to using hydroelectricity. First, hydropower is considered to be a clean source of energy because it doesn't pollute the air and leaves behind no waste. It is a renewable power source because it relies on the water cycle, which is driven by the sun. Once the plants are built, they have a low operating cost and can be highly automated. Finally, they help flood control, provide recreational activities, and the energy is available to the general public. You must be wondering if there are any negative impacts of hydropower. Hydropower plants can disrupt the natural seasonal changes in the river, which can destroy ecosystems. They can cause plant decay, which can cause greenhouse gases. They're expensive to build, they can block fish from spawning in droughts and oceans, and they can potentially break and cause a massive flash flood. All the effects create a political controversy and have halted the construction of more hydropower dams. So now you have the facts, and you have been educated on the alternative energy source of hydropower. Hopefully soon more developments will be made to cut down on the environmental damage. Then they can be fully operational and save some of the world's diminishing resources. Someday, when you future scientists of the world have a say, please consider hydropower, the best alternative energy. Thank, Thank you. you. Inflatable pool, full of dad's hot air. Well, I was three years old, splashing everywhere. And so began my love affair with water.